You tweeted last night, you saw Ryan Griggs and the general manager on the phone in the press box doing something that kind of it stuck out to you. What was that in your interpretation? Well, first of all, the, the Colts are not very clever. They think they are. You know, the, the person who's never the smartest guy in the room is the guy who thinks he's the smartest guy in the room. Ryan Grigson thinks he's the smartest guy in every room ever made. Okay, he does. And, and it's taken about five months to figure that out, but I figure that out, I'm on to that guy. Um, that's what he thinks. So he's a guy that was talking to Jim Irsay last week after the, the Saints debacle. They were down 27 nothing. came back, made it a game, but it really wasn't a game. He, he, he decided to talk to Jim Irsay in front of the media, like in a side room in the, in the locker room. The media saw it. A few of us saw that happen. That's not smart. Don't do it right there. We kind of know what you're doing. You're probably talking about Pagano, and whatever you're talking about is not good. And then last night, he's on his cell phone. He, he sits in the press box, and he sits there, and I heard him curse a few times or say expletives last night. Lord's name in vain, for example. J.C. after turnovers. I mean, don't do that. That's a really bad look. But he, le- he gets up, leaves his seat, is hunched over his phone, talking low at midnight when the score at that point was 23-6. to six. Maybe maybe he was you know, singing a song to his babies at home. And I don't think so. I think what he was doing was talking to Jim Mercer about firing the coach if the score stays this way. So my point is, if you're a Grigson, why don't you not conduct your business in public so people like me can guess, even if we're guessing wrong, don't do that.